What's going on guys? We're here to give you another video. This time it's going to be on installing a couple things on our friend's 15 Subaru WRX. We have new intercooler, some ducting for the intercooler, uh, EGR deletes, TGV deletes, and charge some piping. charge piping for the intercooler. It's really cold out today, so we're gonna work on this in the garage, but we're gonna try to get it done for you guys anyway, so. All right, so it's always a good idea once you do a big order like this to make sure that you have everything that you need so that when you do your install, you're not going to be scrambling around for something that you don't have and you're already deep enough where you can't go back. So it's always good to do a nice little, you know, double check. How close did we get? Ooh. Party like a pin lamp party. <laughs> so, I am not what is the course of action right now? What are we doing first? Why is it always me? So, step number one, we're gonna subi. <laughs> gotta have the vape. You gotta have the vape. Okay, so, we took off the plastics. So, we're gonna, what, you're gonna take this off? Yeah. This is a blow off valve, <laughs> right? Yeah, this is the blow off valve. And then this goes to the charge pipe, this goes back to the intake. And then this is just a vacuum line? Yeah, for the blow off valve. Right, 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 right. Three, two, one. So right now I'm replacing the bracket that's for the factory intercooler with the one that Mishimoto supplied. My worst me, <laughs> Okay, so what do you buy right. Carl? We're gonna change this coupler right here. That's not even that bad. My feet aren't even touching the floor. Installed. <laughs> it's the right fit. That's the clickbait right there. Oh god! Bro, they're the same size. How come they gave us different T Bow clamps then? Damn it, Mishimoto. You failed this again. I actually have Mishimoto T Bow clamps on my car. That's what I replaced them all with. You were just complaining. Yeah, I know. Because they sent me the wrong one, but they were nice about it. They sent me another one. Why am I still holding the- Are you nervous? Yeah! <laughs> Yo, there was a guy in Afghanistan who called him Nervous Purvis. Nervous Purvis. Yeah, he was, uh, he, was, he works in the defect, the cafeteria. <coughs> Every time he would ask him for hot dogs, he would give you- like, Yo, can I get a hot dog? He'd be like, he'll, this is his face when he's serving you. It's day two of our installation of all the crap that we just did the other day. Today we got to do the EGR delete and the TGV delete. Um, if it's it's snowstorming outside and we weren't supposed to do this today. We're also waiting for Chris, obviously, <laughs> because... <laughs> Because master mechanic. Because master mechanic, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right.
right, so since you know what we're doing, what are we doing? You're undoing all of the bolts that are holding the... What is it? The intake manifold in, right? Okay, and then the point of this is so you can lift it up. Lift it. Take oh, out the old TGVs. If you take out... So you're going to just... The method here is that you're going to just slip them out. Okay. You took off the intercooler aside from that and then... I'm taking the ratchet. I'm taking the ratchet. But, um... Careful, bro. Uh. So this is what this These is what we're doors, talking about. Yeah. Those are the butterfly valves that basically the Air flow restriction. new ones. You got the new ones, right? Yeah, they're in the car. <laughs> There's coolant in here. I drink it. Is there two coolant hoses that go to that valve? Yeah. You guys know what this is. You're the realist. Oh, look who decided to wake up. <sighs> EGO. So now, the process is just putting everything back. This is the reason why the job went so much faster. Because <laughs> I mean, you know who I am, bro. When you're doing this, don't forget to put that little plug in, because we almost did. Plug. So everything here is tight. All right, first startup. So that's it. The car has turned on. Danny's gonna go get a tune tomorrow. It's really a good idea for you to wait. Actually, it's recommend. I think you're supposed to have. Well, I need to do TGB, EGR, EGO. <laughs> a new time, a new charge. Oh. Realistically, you should always do a tune. For some reason, like Supers are really sensitive. Not like, as our 20s. Like Cobb, it's like really just meant for you to like be able to drive it and break in whatever you do. But at the end of the day, you should be always getting a tune no matter what you do. Even in like an intake, you should be getting into it. Nah. Yeah, he's gonna provide us with some clips. Yeah, but he's not If you guys don't know, this is our friend Danny. He left for the army before uh, BM started, but but he was the OG too. Gang. What's going on guys? We just finished up with some food and we are here to test out Danny's new 2015 WRX after he got a tune from Prime Motoring. So the car put down 330 horsepower, roughly 300 foot-pounds of torque. That's with the bolt-ons that we put on, the, the charge pipe, the new top mount. Uh, what else did we do? TGV deletes, EGR deletes? Uh, EGR deletes. EGR deletes. EGO. <laughs> and basically we're here with the whole squad. Danny? <laughs> Justin? <laughs> Alex? Yeah. Hello. And um, Chris. <laughs> but yeah, basically, we're gonna go see what it feels like to be in a stage 2 WRX. So yeah, stay hopefully. tuned. My SR20 can beat it, no lie. So upon opening the hood, yo, shine a light on there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess somebody left this in here. Fucking pie. It's not Chris's, it's not Danny's, and it's not mine. So I guess oh, it was man. the tuners. Snap. It's like one of those flexi screwdrivers. What do you think about your car now? How do you like it compared to a stock one? It's scary. 
the power does feel really good and it's really linear though. Like when we were flying past you guys, it was... Dude, that RAV4 power though. <laughs> the total list of things that Danny has on his car to make, 330 at how many PSI are you pushing? I think 20, it peaked at 22. 22. Peaked at 22. So 22 pounds but makes 330. Like 300 foot pounds of torque roughly is... Uh, TGV deletes, EGR deletes. EGR. <laughs> Catless downpipe, NVIDIA cat back, uh, intake, um, grim speed, boost controller. And I think that's pretty much it. To wrap up this video, that is how you stage two your Subaru WRX. What do you think about it? I think it's really great. I think there's a fox right there. Oh! Let's go get it. So how do you feel about the Rex? Feels good. Feels nice. Fast. I was like, Ooh. chill. Yeah. Since we got this fancy, fancy GoPro, we're gonna yeah. close out the video right here using this thing. So. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yo, isn't that where, um, what's his name? Farmer Dan went over the curb? Yeah, with oh, the Mustang. With the Mustang. Living, <laughs> living up with the, living up to the stereotype. Yeah, like all that? Yeah, yeah, left. It went over so like I said, I'm gonna close this video out. Okay, sorry guys, we're talking too much. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you guys for all the support. Check out our Instagram. We're gonna be letting out a few new stickers, hopefully in the near future. Stay posted on our videos. We have a lot of them lined up now. Actually, finally, right? And that's it for today, so peace out. Peace in.